Hi, I'm from teachmeanatomy.info and in about two minutes I'd like to talk about the borders, contents and clinical relevance of the cubital fossa. The cubital fossa is an anatomical space located just in front of the elbow joint. It is a pathway by which structures enter and leave the forearm. It is triangular in shape with three borders, a floor and a roof. The superior border is formed by an imaginary line between the two epicondyles. The medial border is formed by the pronated teres and the lateral by the brachioradialis. The floor consists of the brachialis muscle and the roof is formed by the bicipital aponeurosis, a flattened tendinous sheet derived from the biceps brachii tendon. As I mentioned earlier, the cubital fossa acts as a conduit for structures to enter and leave the forearm. The radial nerve, biceps brachii tendon, brachial artery and median nerve all pass through the cubital fossa. The cubital fossa is a clinically important landmark. It can be used to locate the brachial pulse by palpating medially the biceps tendon, and the brachial artery can be auscultated in the cubital fossa for the measurement of blood pressure. In addition, the contents of the cubital fossa can be damaged in a supracondylar fracture. A supracondylar fracture is a transverse fracture of the humerus, which spans between the two epicondyles. Direct trauma or post-fracture swelling can damage the brachial artery, compromising blood supply to the forearm. A supracondylar fracture could also damage the median nerve, producing sensory and motor deficits in the forearm.